Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Tuesday, uh, February 8th, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Today, I was going to do a No Catchy Name episode, but I don't really have uh, much to share. <laughs> so I'm going to wait and do that later this week. But, um, so I thought I would do a Stitch Library. So this is Stitch Library number four, I'm pretty sure. I didn't write it down. I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> Let me write that down real quick. Your library number four. <laughs> okay, so this pattern has been in my library for a while. And actually, this is from the same person that I made another one from recently. I didn't realize that until I was getting ready to do it. And I realized it was the same designer. So this is a paid-for pattern, but I, I'm sure I got it for free with a coupon code. Because um, usually, like, especially hat patterns, I don't really buy them. I just get the free ones, you know. Because um, there's so many... Of the similar looking hats if that makes sense but anyways i digress <laughs> so this has been living in my stash for a while and i've been wanting to make it because it's a really cute hat and i finally made it it is a messy bun hat but my hair is wet so i don't have it up all right now it's drying still i took a shower <laughs> it's still wet up at the top anyways <laughs> uh here's the hat Ta -da! isn't it cute so it is a messy bun hat so it's got the hole up here it's called the mermaid dreams messy bun beanie by crazy for a crochet mama <laughs> the little bonnet that i made recently uh with the, the bobble stitches on it is made by the same person but this is so cute um there's also a way in the pattern that you can close it up to make it just a regular beanie and the bow is optional of course but um i just thought this was cute so i did use red heart super saver retro stripes it's uh red heart super saver stripes retro stripes is the yarn color it took about half a skein so i still have a scrap ball left over and uh, this is the same one that the picture for the pattern was made in. So I just went ahead and copied that because I thought it was cute. The colors are different, but it's the same yarn. And I definitely made the bow because I thought the bow was cute. And this does fit my head. I had it on yesterday. Um, it's just my hair's wet right now, so I can't really put it on the right way. <laughs> but it, it's just a beanie, so, you know. And then there's the hole there for your hair to stick out of. With I'm not sure if the bow's supposed to be on top or if it's supposed to be... I'm messing my hair all up. Um that part to where it would be visible from behind <laughs> i'm not sure which way it's supposed to go but it's still cute i think it's a cute hat <laughs> but um yeah i've been wanting to make myself a messy bunny beanie forever and i just never got around to doing it i usually make hats for other people <laughs> but uh i think it's cute i really like the stitching it's shell stitches so it looks like you know like a mermaid tail you start with the brim which i hate hats usually that start with the brim <laughs> i would rather start at the top more right down because that way it's easier to edit the length of the hat if you need it to be shorter or longer. But, um, I went ahead and did it anyways. So I started with the brim and then you work up and you leave the hole up here and then you make the bow and sew it on. So I think I might actually, because I sewed the bow on the front because right here's my seam for joining. Um, I might actually take that off and put it on the back because I think it would look better on the back underneath your bun than on the top of your head <laughs> sticking up in the air. Uh, I'm not sure which way it's supposed to go, but who knows? We'll figure it out. <laughs> I used a J-hook for this, and I already said the yarn. It took about half a skein, and I made it just by watching TV one day yesterday. I made it yesterday, <laughs> and I just think it turned out really cute. I love, I love this yarn, and I love the pattern. It's really cute. I'll probably make more of these because it's actually a really easy pattern to do, and uh, you do the same row up to a certain point, and then you decrease a little bit, and then it's done. But yeah, so I'll link it below. And it'll be an Etsy link, I'm pretty sure. She has an Etsy shop. <laughs> but um, I think she has a Ravelry shop too. Because that would have been where I would have gotten it for free with the coupon code. I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't know. I'll check it out. I'll link both of them if they're both there. But I think it's a cute hat. I just, I, I think I am going to move the bun. I mean the bow. <laughs> to the back. Because I think it would look cuter on the back of the head underneath your bun. Instead of on the top of your head just kind of sticking up in the air like that. I wish I'd thought of that before I sewed it on there because I'm going to have to take it off. <laughs> but oh well, I can do that. So, and it's cute. So, that's my Stitcher Library number four. I'm pretty sure it's number four. So, I'm slowly working through patterns that I've had in on my computer for forever. So, there's another one. I really like this one. So, this one will probably keep. I did print it out. So, I'll probably put it in my folder with the pr page protectors so that it, it can be an easy go to hat for gifts and things. Because you can do it with or without the bow. So you can just make the cute shell hat. And then, like I said, you can close it all the way up to make it a regular beanie or a messy bun beanie. 
But that that's my stitch line brand number four. <laughs> so I'm gonna hop off here and get this edited up, edited and up, and then I'm gonna move this bow to the back. I wish I had thought of that because I, I just don't like this joiner here where the uh, brim joined together. I wouldn't want that like in the middle of my forehead. <laughs> so I'm gonna um, take the bow off and put it back here, and then the bow will be back there. I think that'll look nicer than up in the front. Like sticking up, it looks weird down, <laughs> facing up, you know, because it's at the top of your head. Anyways, yeah, I'm bobbing. June's in the swing. I just put her in it. I was holding her, but I wanted to record this real quick, so I stuck her in the swing. And she's snoozing. She's she's so snoozy. <laughs> she's always sleeping. I forget how it is with newborns. You know, it's been a while since I had one. And uh, she's plumping up already. I don't know how much weight she's gained. I wish we had a little scale. Um, but her face is definitely chubbier. <laughs> And uh, she's just so cute. I just love her so much. But yeah, so I'm going to hop off here and get this edited. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Watch Work on Wednesday. My my new whip is in this bag right here. I was working on it just a little ago. This is a bag I made a long time ago. This is one of the first bags I ever made. <laughs> uh, but my new whip is in there. And I will be sharing that with you guys tomorrow. And yeah, I guess that's about it for today. So I will see you guys tomorrow. And um, yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys.